So, you know, Steve, what you kicked off in the state of Arizona has been durable. We've mm -hmm. had different governors. We, we had Governor Napolitano for eight years. And in fact, during Governor Napolitano, I believe you came into the state, our, my good friend, our good <laughs> friend, Steve Voller, when he was with the Free Enterprise Club, yeah. uh, we were able to get through, or you were able to get through uh, another uh, pretty aggressive income tax cut. So over 20, 25 years, different governors, different parties, this has been durable. Yeah, so Arizona has really steadily improved its competitive situation through less regulation and through those income tax cuts. I think when I started here, you know, 20 some years ago, you were at seven and a half percent. Now you're at four and a half percent on your income tax. And that's, you know, people say, well, what's really the difference? Businessmen and women who are, and, and people who are looking at moving a business or a factory or a warehouse uh, or a research center, they say, oh, look at Arizona. They're moving in the right direction. We, we want to be there. And that's, you know, I think you were citing some of these statistics to me today about how many new people are moving into the states. And, you know, it's a fantastic uh, situation. There's evidence to suggest when you increase the income tax rate, yep. people file elsewhere, they move elsewhere, and the economic So the highest states, 10 states with the highest income tax, uh, only have half the rate of job creation as the 10 states that you have no income tax or a low income tax. My philosophy about this stuff is not that complicated. If it's working, keep doing it. And if it's not working, you know, change your policies. We estimate that when you talk about people who are making over $250,000, $300,000 a year on their income tax returns, well over half of those people are small business owners. That's what they do. So the people say, this isn't a tax on small business. This is a tax on rich people. Well, no, it's actually a tax on the people who create the jobs in Arizona. I mean, we know the spinal cord of Arizona for your economy is the small business owners. It's not the big corporations. It's a, it's a, it's a very low threshold. Yeah. And when you have 98% or 97% of businesses or small business, maybe it's about half the workforce that's going to have uh, a big, a, a very big negative effect.